bitch head. Bitch head, Rob. The boy said somewhat wise. Not bitch head. You, uh... Ugh. You settled over there? Yeah. Or are settling? Yeah. I'm, Doing I'm a breathing in. exercise or something? Yeah. I'm getting ready. I mean... It takes a lot, man. It takes it out of you. You gotta get limber. Breathing exercises are good. <laughs> Might want to invest in a sleep apnea mask. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Even. Those are they're being like James Gandolfini over there. <laughs> <sighs> but James Gandolfini's not breathing. Oh. <laughs> so uh, he's just saying that because he's worried now. Oh. Like a fat guy just peeling an orange, <laughs> sweating. <laughs> <clears throat> sweating from peeling an orange. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Josh is here. Over there, playing Fortnite with children. Uh, That's fine. It happens. He is playing Fortnite with children, though. Episode 89 of Slow Burn. Is it 89? I'm not checking. Oh. Ooh. Even making himself no, less useful. Yeah, even known even more. I'm not doing it. He's phasing himself out. What is Steven? What's what? wrong with you, boy? What is Steven? What is a Steven? What is a Steven? I think it's a Gaelic. Wait. Whoa. Is that five hour energy? Uh, that's mine. No. Yeah. Yeah. Just this Red Bull is mine. Just that 36 No, I'm going to drink it later when I wake up from my nap. Okay. 36 ounce Red Bull. And two five hour energy. 16 energies. fluid ounces. Ooh. Anyway. You were going somewhere. Where was I going? I don't fucking know. I don't know where I'm going. I don't really know. I know something I wouldn't know. What? Uh, Megan, listen last week. No. Yeah. <laughs> she even responded. She made a comment yesterday. I was like, I didn't listen to last week's episode. I was like, you're not missing anything. What happened last week? Remind me. We made a poll. Oh, a poll. Oh, yeah. Stephen wanted to try the pegging. Oh, yeah. No. How that was, was your the poll, way of, That was your way of bridging the talk with your lady, Stephen. You didn't take it? The pegging I talk? I was making a poll between the three of us and oh, whoever oh, listens. Sir. So is, did I you, don't want to be a part did of you this intentionally? three of us talk. Hmm? No. Rob voted no. He wouldn't want the pegging. Well, Rob said no. That's not gay. Because I think that, that was the question. Oh. Is yeah. it gay? Not gay, but no pegging. Okay. It's, uh, the the question was: Is it gay if you're pegged by a woman? Okay. And the final answer was no. Steve still didn't want to try it though. Yeah, Josh. Josh says it's not his cup of tea, but yeah, I'm not gonna try it. But it doesn't make you gay. It's not gay. Not gay. Okay. So I know. there's a lot of gay talk. Just saying. That's last week. Now, what if you went the step further? Because I saw the twinkle in Rob's eye. What if it was a you know, a slim woman? We'll start with slim woman, huh? and she just stuck her whole hand in there. Whole hand, <laughs> whole fist. She went fisting. How now, is what? She, is that okay? How would that? She went. She went the double wide. Oh, I mean, yeah. If, if it's something accepting of both parties involved, yeah, go for it. Okay, but she has to wear gloves or something, right? This ain't my party. I don't know. Whatever, whatever no, I mean, floats your boat. This is. Oh, you would hope she would wear, wear gloves. Gloves, gloves and lube, I would what? imagine. So okay, you, I've seen a couple so of those if, type of videos in if, my life, and if, I've never seen a glove involved. If ever. the uh, no? question was in your corner, you you would have the lady wear a glove. Yeah, probably. Do you want to have her wear that those those horse gloves that go up to your elbows? Yeah, <clears throat> or just to the watch, so she can treat you like a puppet. <laughs> that would be interesting, huh? Uh, something I would never want to see. That's for fuck sure. Well, if it ever happens, I'll take pictures for you. I think you might have to go down to Tijuana for that I stuff. Think you might need some video. 
No, you don't want video now. No, you don't want video. Why not? I am beautiful naked. Well, you're half naked already, so... <laughs> yeah, pop that top. <laughs> and put on some, uh, some, some shorts. Some shorter shorts. Yeah, shorter shorts. And I'm going to spread my legs a little wider for you. Is that lycra? Yeah. Nice. And you're like her in it. <laughs> um, jeez, it's part ligma too. Nope. Yeah, you're gonna do it, <laughs> Steve. Robert. Ligma. No. <laughs> no. No. Ligma what? Ligma. I don't know. I was hoping you were going to finish it because I forgot. Lick my balls, right? Lick my balls. Lick my balls. Uh, what's, uh... Mm-hmm. It's weak. This episode's weak already. It's starting out weak. <laughs> and I yeah. blame it on well, Steve. It, we just... Well, it's, a early, it's this early morning yeah. bullshit. There's no mojo going on. There's, no, There's plenty of mojo. It's there was, not that it's weak. I think it's it was that, that pie. It's not that it was weak. We're just continuing what we started last week. What was that? The questionnaire that I. You're still questioning. I'm not questioning. She was trying we, to get we past We answered the question just a minute up. ago. We all said it's not gay, but we wouldn't do it. But Mel would get fisted by a skinny woman. Maybe a big woman, too. Oh, he'd even go to a big woman. But you'd have to build up at that point, right? Is the hand that much fucking different? I know everybody has different hands, so it's up, you know, it's... How you know, thin are we talking? Like, crackhead thin? Yeah, totally, like E.T. Like, man. Ethiopian thin? Oh, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Like, Steven. Like, like, 15 fucking cents kind of thin? Excuse me? What's that mean? Like, for 15 cents, you can feed this child? Oh, my God, Steven. That's pedophilia. Now you're getting into the R. Kelly talk. Steve, he he brings up the news. It's you got to be relevant to this times. People will go back and look at this and go, okay, that's when they were talking about this. Not that the date on the uh, timestamp or you know episode would be in a, enough for them there, but it is March tenth of two. But when, when you're you're listening to this, you don't you don't really you aren't looking it at is, that. Uh, is Mario Day? Somebody will be listening to this two years from now. Well, that's why I just timestamped it. Remember, we're in Guatemala. We are? No, fuck no, man. We're in Guatemala. Um, uh, 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 it's been a week. How about your week? I had a week, too. I, too, had a week. After you had a week. It's, yeah. It's early. I'm going with me. We're going with me. Yeah. Let's start with Look Rob. at you. Taking some initiative. Same train rolling. Um, Take lead of this podcast. First week of the job. Oh, you're all burnt out from the new week. You're not used to having to be somewhere. I'm not burnt having, out. St- having structure in your life again. I felt pretty tired come Friday, but I spent two thirds, three thirds, two thirds of Friday in a freezer all day doing inventory, which wasn't there you very go. fun. You need to get a coat. I got some coats. I got two uh, hoodies. You don't I, think bought, this, I purchased a new hoodie. This you week don't think this northern man has a coat? You got rid of him. I did. I left my coat up there. He wrote that song. <laughs> I left my coat in Baltimore. It was a nice uh, Adidas coat, too. It was nice. Like, came down to the knees. I feel like skiing. If I ever was see. it a puffy one? Not too puffy, but slightly puffy. Like, just the right puff. Did you have shell tops to go with it? I'm right. But it wasn't even, it was like, it was weird colors. It was like purple and maroon. Something I would never wear now. That was like. That was a Baltimore thing. I understand. 12 years ago, Rob. That was mom found it at the Burlington Coat Factory, Rob. Uh, so work is pretty cool. It's a weird job. I already got a paycheck for two days. There you go. So that was tight. Yeah, two days pay is more than no days pay. Yeah, it was almost like 200 bucks. I'll tell you that much. I'm not an accountant. I got eBay money last week, like almost 300 bucks. Oh, are you claiming that on your taxes? Uh, I'm almost to the point where I'm going to have to anyway. So, yeah. yeah. There you go. 
And what else? There's something else I wanted to say. About the he said you got a check from your old job? That. Oh, how you almost threw it I away? I almost threw this piece of like junk looking mail away. And then I was like, eh, I'm going to open that after like four or five days of it just sitting around. And it was a check for $385. It was four hundred and something when he told us earlier, was wasn't it? it yeah, he, he said almost four hundred. Or Steve? Oh, almost he did. 40, yeah, okay. but he didn't give the uh, preci- precise. I amount. thought he said so like four something. Now, okay. Something? You got to fact check him. He's one of those conspiracy Steve theorists. Gave so Steve gave that shit up. His whole viewpoint is wishy washy and not founded on science. What was the last conspiracy theory I believe? In? That leukemia. No, I didn't. I didn't believe in it. I just pondered it for a moment. Rob doesn't do Steiner math like you do. He was also talking about curvature. Jokingly. He is a flat earther. He is. Bullshit. Like an earthworm. Jim? I could see it. More of a psycho guy. Okay. Okay. Also got my dad's in town. Oh, was yeah? He in town last week? I forget. No, I, mean, I don't. He's been in town for a week now. Now he's still well, in town? He's still, he's still in, in town, town for another week. Okay. Living the life away from his house for over a month at a time. Just Are you jealous? Is he in town? No, for... I don't think I could ever do that. Is he oh. in town just to be in town, or is he in town for business? Oh, he's retired. Yeah, he's it's all leisure. To... He's in town to ride oh. his bike all from leisure here now. to Dunedin. And, personal uh, trip. Yeah, it's all leisure now. Hang out at the beach. Winking, and... A winking personal trip. Go to the local watering hole, have a couple beers. and. Yep. Uh, let's see what else. You should, you should take him down to Mad Hatter's. <laughs> Why the fuck would I do that? He's a Republican, goddammit. He, he doesn't drink tea? He does. Here, try this kava. What's that? Smell your ass out. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> do not you fucking dare. <laughs> that does not go there, Mel. Yep. That's not a charge import, Mel. Oh, it's going to smell so bad now, Mel. Already did. Uh, not only is my pops in town, my brother has been in town. Brothers. Brothers. For my one brother's bachelor party weekend. Uh-oh. Yeah. They've been living it up. Uh, they drank four cases of beer in one evening between the, like, eight of them. Well, that's not too bad. Not what too kind bad. of beer? Lots of beer. Why? Well, like, various Vari- types? Yeah, various Types. Various types and different kinds. Everyone's. Uh, I wasn't sure if they just drank was one beer. Not like, that cheap shit. Mimosas. Sh- the champagne beers. There was mimosas. Uh, we went to the dog track yesterday. Mimosas are good though. I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna call it like I see it. You guys should have had some mimosas today at brunch. I could have. Are you? <laughs> so. No, 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 no. We're we're talking about it. You have fruit snacks on the floor. <laughs> For whatever reason, there's a table right here. They're on the they're on the no. bottom part of this coffee table. Okay, they're that's not, cool. They're like a, they're like so, a foot from the floor. Instead of reaching down and grabbing them, you monkey foot the motherfuckers, and then reach into the bag. Him reaching down would have smushed his gut. That's full of a lot of food that he just and ate. And you're sitting here condoning it all to him because. Look at the way I'm positioned. <laughs> if I could monkey foot, I would monkey foot. But yeah. I'm smart, enough, I'm smart enough to also put my food right no, here. that's the fucking disgusting. You're walking around barefoot in this house. That, I mean... It's his house. I just swept him up. When? This is the only time I can do this. When? Last night. Uh, his belly's growing. <laughs> is that what happens when he lies? His belly grows? <laughs> Shut up, Steven. <laughs> Look, his belly's growing. He's lying. All right, so my week. <laughs> no, no, my, no, 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 with your family? Because they drank cases of beers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just recapping. Yeah. Because well, your, da- your dad's in town. Yeah. And you, But you left off before Mel monkey footed some fruit. Yeah, you went to the dog track. Yeah. 
So what's up with that? What happened with the well, rest of your week, huh? See, I don't necessarily agree with dog racing or whatever. But if I'm there, I'm going to try to win some money. Yeah. I I usually go and look at the ones and see which one took a shit and looks all limber. Well, yeah, that too. That, that That's a good philosophy. Mm-hmm. I was just doing this as a name solely. Okay. And, you didn't uh, look at the book? No, I got the book. You like dogs? Right the name. I like dags? You like dags? Nah. I don't, I don't do the dog racing thing. It's cruel. But whatever. I'm going to try to win money. And I did. Why didn't you just go play cards? They After, got cards. Uh, would you rather uh, watch the horses? Done. Yeah, would you have rather done horses? No. Neither. Uh, but... You do have that horse still, though. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell. And it, I left it here, so it's... You know, it was, it, when he was over here, it was like, <laughs> where was that? What was he doing? That shake weight? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> with Mel's horse. Build it uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, demonetizing us, bro. <laughs> Once again, Mel's derailing. We'll never have a chance of monetization. <laughs> You guys talk about this shit. Uh, I, I after drinking a few beverages, you drank adult beverages. Adult beverages. I was going to ask that were the adult. And eating uh, some uh, chicken tenders. Tendies. I had some tendies. It was all right. Where'd you get them from? The track. I oh, went dog track. Okay, track and they tendies. Were, and they were good. Seven dollar track tendies. Don't get sweet and sour. Bullshit. But honey mustard's all right. Were they neither sweet or sour? I, I I just looked at it. I was like, nope. It was yellow, mm. yellow, sweet and sour. Yeah, uh, that's not a good look. I left there with fifty dollars. Okay, up, fifty dollars up. You went in with what? I went in with what I went in. And you left with fifty. Yeah, more? what'd you go in you with? Fifty on top of that. Oh, okay. Because would you go in to you spend? Win, you cash out. And oh. you cash out. And you were up fifty bucks. You believe him? Yeah. I got okay. mofos that'll verify. They're family. That means a life for you. I mean, <laughs> not these family. He should have taken pictures of his winning tickets. Yeah, I agree. But how would you know who won? For documents. Well, you put the put your face next to the ticket. Yeah. But the ticket just shows the number and the race. It doesn't say that you won. You well, gotta go to the machine. Or the teller. And when you do that, we need doc- just we takes s- it and gives you the money. We still need documents. Yeah. We don't even know you no, were there. No, we don't do need documents any, because... Do you take the- any pictures? Do you take any no. pictures there? Yes. Are you in these pictures? Did you post on the social media? No. Then they don't count. Mm. Well, I didn't want to be like, you know, on social media like, hey, I'm at the dog track. Oh. Um, Erase get- these puppies. He felt the shame. He did feel a little dirty. Where do people hang out? It can be fun, though. I could hang out there. You can get away with a lot of stuff there. A lot of stuff. You know what else I did this week? Um, NXT Largo. Baby! I, oh, yeah, you did do that. I saw the debut of ACH. I didn't even know it was this week until you sent me pictures, and I'm, I'm waking up at, like, yeah, on and off, and I'm like, oh. I forgot it was this week as well. He's going to do NXT stuff. He didn't even let us know before. My buddy Brian was there. It's his first NXT ever. Brian who? Front row. Brian uh, H. from... Uh, oh, really? That Rob Guy podcast, uh, Conversations to Episode 1. Nice. His first NXT. He said it brought him back to being a kid again. Doesn't it? Watching wrestling. And I told him, you know what, Brian? That's what NXT is for. He said he had a little kid next to him the whole time talking his ear off, and he loved it. Mm-hmm. Fun to go to those things and see a little kids. And, you know, Sasha and Bailey showed up. Yeah, talking. They're always talking shit and doing the wrestling moves to each other. It was nice. It had a couple stunners. Stunners. That was my week. That was a pretty good show, huh? It was pretty good. We saw, uh... Bubba Tunde versus uh, Riddle. Yo, bro. Finally check bro off the list. Bubba Tunde. Did he say it? Did he say bro? Oh, yeah. He kicked his uh, flip-flops into the crowd. It was awesome. Did you get it? Nah, I was on the other side. 
I was on the camera side. You weren't in the normal spot? Nope. No, he wasn't perched against the wall. Mmm, because you were with your lady friend? I was with a lady that used to be a, that's a friend. Mm. That used to be the lady friend. That he's trying to get out of the friend zone with? Out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Situation. I'm out and everyone. Is that what, like, married people do? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's why they only hang out with other married people? Mm-hmm. So, Mel. Yeah? How, How was, your was week? Steve's week? How was your week, Steve? Not too bad. Could have been better. <sighs> Tuesday, I got the... Uh... Tuesday, I got the... No. Yeah, Tuesday, I got uh, notice that I'm being transferred. Oh, you got notice? Tra I'm be being transferred. To where? Uh, store seven, the uh, discount scratch and dent scratch and dent store. I don't know. like the as is store. Where's that? It's on Thirty Fourth Street. Um, you know where that go kart place is on Thirty Fourth Street? Oh, where the no, hump that one? Is. Yeah, like right before the hump, That's right, right, right next to the uh, the Pepsi building. That building looked a little warm. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's a scratch and dent store. It's it's. So why? Because. My uh, initial manager feels that I isn't. I'm. Um, I isn't. I am not progressing uh, enough, fast enough, or or anything. Like I'm not. But I also feel it's bullshit because they are sort. They aren't teaching me anything, anything new. They just keep giving me all these jobs, like fix light bulbs, go fix toilets. Uh, you got to take the initiative. I did take initiative. I, I, I whipped it out, but I did not expose my ass. And I said I print and I pronounced dominance, and they still uh, gave me the heave ho. Oh shit! Totally um, off topic, but uh, probably the. Uh, probably I just the saw my mic while you was down last week. Yeah, I told you it was coming. But I still keep my regular hours. Not, not my not my regular hours. I, I'm not Monday through Friday anymore. But you know, I still get my forty hours every week. And my pay is the same. Oh. So this is where you reinvent yourself. Yeah. This is like going to the CFL. You go there and own it. You make that building yours. And then make them once you're back. It'll be okay. Are you still doing the same thing, but over there? Um, sort of. Like, I'll be, um, I'll be putting furniture together. Okay. And then I'll, and if people want their uh, furniture, you know, loaded onto their vehicle, then I'll put it on their vehicle. The only thing we can't do is tie it, like bungee or anything like that, because if we if we think it looks secure, and they drive off and they hit a curve or something and it pops off the vehicle, then they're like, well, the guy at the store bungeed it down. I could hear so him saying gonna, it like that. So now they'll come back and be like, well, oh. Steve told me. Oh, Steve at the Yada the scratching Dan. The guy with the the, the eyes, glasses, and the, 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 the glasses and the shit shirt. That fucking <laughs> four-eyed nerd. <laughs> that motherfucker. I could hear it. There'd be plenty of expletives. Mm -hmm. but Strongly they worded letters. Deleted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very strong. Strongly Lots worded Lots of people letters. want to see the manager. Yeah. I can see it. That's sad because once yeah. upon a time, you would expect that. Like what? that was a service that you would expect. Not expect, but like that, that would just happen. Yeah. Like the guy, there'd be a guy outside to help you. Nope. Nope. They can't now do you it. Can't, it's a liability. You can't do it. Can't tip anybody. Fucking liberals, bro. Damn it. Fucking liberal conservatives. Oh, God damn it. You know what I mean? I wish I didn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm so that, huh, Steve? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Steve, um, that's pretty sad. Yeah, I, buddy. I'm a little bummed, but if it gets me... Uh, the, only, the, the only positive I really saw of is I don't have to go to my man, my the president of the warehouse's house anymore and do bullshit work like clean his pool or and like or like. But that's how you do that shit, and that's how you move up, though. By what going to his house and yeah, delivering part like uh, polishing uh, chrome. Go to his house and delivering yeah. power wheels for his grandkids. Putting down carpet. I never did that. Oh yeah. You got to though. You no, know, we gotta take our shoes off when we go in that house. Yeah. Oh, oh. you gotta get the booties. Yeah. Well, it's either put booties on or take your shoes off. So I just took my shoes off. It's 
since mine are like slip-ons. Mm. Mm. You should have worn the booties. Maybe that's why, yeah. He got a see, whiff. See, this whole thing. <laughs> it's preventable. It's all, I see it. I. You know what? I would have demoted you too. <laughs> oh, shit. Really, bro? That's why I never came over to A. You wouldn't have said something first? Like, hey, let's have a conversation. Did they have a conversation? Nope. Oh, no, yeah. I would have had a conversation. You got to have the conversation. Then you then you have to you have the conversation with their good old boys where they go to old boy in it, Steve. Then you mentor and tutor. No, none of them are southern. Okay. And if it still doesn't happen, then you strike. Like a cobra. I like tried cobra. To, I tried to see if I can go to deliveries, but they were they were over overemployed over there. It sounded like they just wanted to get rid of you. No, not the warehouse. At just, that location. No. They love me at that store. There's so many people that come up to me, and I was like, hey, how you liking it over there? And I'm like, I'm loving it. And I'm like, yeah, we miss her over here. Oh, you've been over there this whole time now? I've been in maintenance, yeah, I was been in maintenance a month now. for uh, about half a year. And not, probably not even, that, not even that much, but like close to it. Because I was in my original spot for a year and a half. So you were at this building you're at now? Two years. Okay. You've been there that long? Wow. And then, um, but yeah, I've gone to other, pl- I've, I've worked like a day or so at other, other spots, like receiving, shipping, delivering, putting carpet down. <laughs> uh, when I was in maintenance, yeah. what we, had, cause on the uh, ROS <laughs> machines, you have to put carpet on them so they don't mess up the uh, furniture. You have to like install that carpet. Yeah. See, don't even. Okay. And uh, Friday, uh, my lady and I went with another another couple. We went and saw Captain Marvel. Very good movie. I liked it a lot. It had Thanos in it? No. It mm. had... Um, Spider-Man? No, no one from the MCU. Uh, like That's on like, the Avengers side. Green Lantern? Green Arrow was in it. No, yeah. um, it, it was... Steve Almond? It was set back in... Um, like ninety four, ninety five. So oh, I they had to like that. they had to do some CGI uh, re aging on Sam Jackson. So, Did so it he, look at unnatural and weird? So that he looks like his age in ninety four, ninety five. Uh, D. Oh, yeah. Like, like how they did with like you know when they did uh, uh that's, Tron. Yeah, Tron and um like other uh, MCU movies like when they did Ant Man and Wasp they had to re age uh Kirk Douglas when he was when he did like flashbacks. mm Hmm. Okay. Or Princess Leia. Yeah. She did. Princess Leia and um You don't think they have to de age somebody to bring him back from death? Princess Leia when they did uh Rogue One. Yeah. At the end of Rogue One when they're like they hand the uh the blueprints to the Death Star after Princess Leia. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And it's the seventy seven version of Princess Leia. Yeah, fucked what? Language today. <laughs> I was happy about that one. <laughs> that one made me happy. I can tell. <laughs> and then uh, last night, my lady and I went on a little date night. Your lady? Oh, yeah. You cheated at miniature golf. <laughs> yeah. I, I read somewhere that you were moving the balls. No. He's got a habit of moving balls. He would, like, kick it a little bit. No, we... Uh, Move the putter a little bit. With, uh, we went to here. a little beach restaurant called PJ's. Oh, what would PJ's? your review of it? It's good. They have another one over on St. Pete Beach, but we went to the one on Madeira Beach. Is it bad, bad, not good? It's fine. It's really packed because it was more uh, touristy. Steve doesn't like packed places. I don't. We found that out this morning. Yeah, he was being all... Uh, There's so many cars. Oh, and then did you, did you see him when he went into Village Inn? Oh, he, he dipped, dipped real quick. so quick. Like, it oh, there's a bench. There. You're like, the one that wanted to go there to eat. Damn, that was like when it was around like nine ten o'clock when we knew it wouldn't be that busy because people would be in church when we went. Whoa, did you just see that? We, we, he got serious. Uh, he is a very serious we, kid we when it comes rush to his food. We were hitting that, that packed rush hour at our village inn because people were getting out of church. Mm-hmm. I, hey, I'm I'm new to this uh, life, so uh, I didn't even know people went to church though. <laughs> yeah, it's so, just like that's news to me. It's just like wrestling. It still goes on. Well, huh? So in wrestling know. news, hold up. But after dinner, uh, yeah, we played puck, puck, puck off, and I uh, 
I beat her by two points. Two? Oh, that's a... Uh, two holes? Two no, strokes. Two strokes. Two strokes. And you did good? Yeah. Did you gloat? No. Good. But then we went to the legend and got pie, because winners get pie. Yep. Winners get pie. He wasn't a winner this morning. Nope. He didn't get pie. I collected my winnings last night, so I didn't need to collect again today. Whatever. If you want to be you like collect, that. You collect your winnings the day up, just like Rob says, not two days later. Why? <coughs> no, Rob collected his wings four days later. No, when it's at the track, you collect your winnings after every race. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't <laughs> keep adding it up? No, I always cash out and put it in your pocket. Why? It's just a theory. And always have X amount of money you're going to have, right? Why? X amount of money you want to spend there, put it in this pocket. And then anything you win, put it in this pocket. And then you'll never lose if you win. See what I'm saying? No. Yeah, me neither, but you know, it sounded you good. You make no sense to me. Shut up. What'd you do this week if phone boy over here is done? He's on his phone now. We've lost him. This is what happens. I had notification that I had to get rid of. You had to get rid of it. This sounded like a damn nervous tick. I had to get rid of it. It was a notification that popped up. I had to leave it. Oh, no. But yeah, that's it. That's it. My week, though. That's it. Chelsea. Chelsea. Ch- 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 Chelsea. Chelsea. I had a week. Last but not least, it's your turn. I had a good week. It was, a, it was a pretty good week. I, uh, I had to fill in for my boss. At the old uh, job, so it was a it was a little bit of stressful. Beginning, Mel was but, distant this week, but it was a uh, it was good. I slept a lot. I was stressed in the middle, but by the end, I felt confident, and I was like, "I need, I just need to be more confident in myself. I got this shit. I got it all on lockdown, you know. Just got to be confident." I like Ride that. I like that. Played a lot of Switch. You were That's, playing a shmup when I came over here. A shmup. I never Sky pictured Force you as reloaded. a shmup guy. Yeah. You should know I play everything, bitch. Check it. Check. That's he one more for the bitch check. He plays the game. Yeah. Bitch. What? One more for the bitch count. People, they have a game. See how many times we say bitch. Bitch what? Nope. See, now you're, you're trying too hard. You're jumping the shark. Because I said bitch. No, not that again. You can't do it. Can't go back. Nope. I am All excited right. for that movie. I'm sorry. When it comes out, I'm going to go see it. Us? Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks creepy. I'm going to go see it, man. I'm going to go see it at like 10 o'clock on a fucking Tuesday. Morning? Yeah. On a Tuesday? Like the very first showing. So how's it? It's not going to be scary then. No, it's totally going to be scary. You got to go at night. Like, no. Midnight. No, cause no. It's, it's scary it, when you go when you go out the, when you exit the theater. It's still daylight. And nobody's there. I want to go see it and have it feel like I'm just watching a movie, man. Not experience a movie with a bunch of assholes in a theater. I remember the Exorcist like came out in the theaters again, like in the '90s or maybe the early 2000s, uh, when they put a, some of the extra footage in. Me and my stepbrother went to see it, and like we were the only ones in the theater. And then, like, we turned around once, and there was, like, a guy back there. And then, ten minutes later, we turned around, and he wasn't there. It was so weird. It was P. Herman. Oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> 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 it was in Maryland, not down here. <laughs> that was good. Well, you say, you're saying there. Paul Rubens can't travel? Yeah, he's traveled. <laughs> the Cranberry Mall in beautiful Westminster, Maryland. Yes. Suburbs of Baltimore. Cheap pop. Yeah, cheap pop from Rob. But you guys do it all the time. No, we don't. Especially this guy. He's the king of cheap he pop. He is the king of cheap pop. He is. It's okay. Steve. Here. Game dropper. He knows his gimmick. Here. Right here. In Stamp Pat Manor. <laughs> Get excited when they say it. Speaking of getting excited, I'm jumping the gun a little, but I am okay. so hyped Whatever. for some WrestleMania. It's the train wreck. You're a train wreck. Yeah. Wait, how long have we been going? 34 minutes. Oh, and it's all nothing. 
It's all just my week. Isn't it all all nothing it's anyway? It's all nothing, right? It's all perspective, though. Hey, it's all or nothing. Yeah, hit us some with some of that Mel shit. The Mel shit? Yeah, Mel shit? It's the Mel shit. It's all about perspective, bro. A Mel shit. That Mel shit. What's he doing that, uh, DJ Khaled? No, man. You can't do that. And another shit. That's a K-hole there. I don't want to go down. <laughs> Boom. That's not a mellow shit, though. Yeah. I've been playing... I, all right. So I've been playing Final Fantasy... World of Final Fantasy on the Switch. And it's like Pokemon meets Final Fantasy. It's pretty fun. I'm liking it more than I you know, expected to. It's good. It's good. I've been... I'm like six or seven hours into it. But not as much as I, I play Skyforce like daily. I'm trying to grind it out, man. He's done that grind. And what do you mean you don't you haven't seen me play shoot 'em up? So wasn't that what Tesla versus Lovecraft is? That's a no. A shmup is a like space shooter. But that's a twin stick. That's kind of the same shit. It's basics there. It's, it's, uh, I wouldn't compare. I would compare Tesla to Smash TV over. Yeah, well, definitely, but that's... Yeah. Josh says twin sticks, so he agrees with you. Yeah. Steve? Sorry, sorry. What do you think? I mean, it's all just like... I'm going to agree with these guys. Shoot. <laughs> just hold the button down Sheeple and shoot Steve kill. over here. I'm no, he knows what's up. Leave I'm him fickle. alone. I'm fickle. You called me that last week. I'm fickle. He is fickle. Leave shit shirt alone. They're sailboats. Those are poop like emojis. All right, all right, I'll concede. I was in error. Okay. Okay. So you watched the press conference? For yes. Oh, yeah, I totally did. I watched the whole it thing? live. Yeah. yeah, I did too, while I was at work. Boom. Oh, Wait, no wonder whoa, they got rid of you. What were you thinking? Like, he did hit us up with that text. Who's watching And I'm this? like, I'm at work. Shouldn't you be at work, Steven? Mel, out. maybe. I called out. I called out. Look, <laughs> I can't come in. I got a press conference today. <laughs> I uh, was off of work. But, I mean, things are starting to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. I was working while I was watching it. Doing what? I was PMing. I was servicing a machine. You could have said PMing. Yeah, well, I didn't want to show you guys. That's preventive so. maintenance for those I Mel offended. Gets it. Did Mel get it? Yeah. Okay. I got PM, bro. I got to do PM. I PM all the time. My BM. Okay. No, no, the, the BM is PM. Yeah. Really, like, clean out those pipes. Move that shit. So. Pack his shit and get it out of here. Yeah, that's what I tell him. So, did I. So, did anybody PM? see you no. watching this? While you were, I wasn't. I working. wasn't like watching it. I was mostly just listening to it. Like oh, okay. I had it in my earbud, and it was awkward as fuck, right? The whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. I, I most, I really laughed at Buckhorn calling it a, a, the championship a belt. Well, yeah. did you see that the Tampa Bay Times like had that little clip of like things they weren't supposed to say and refer yeah. to it as? It's pretty weird. They're not called divas. They're called super, yeah. superstars. It's not wrestling. It's sports entertainment or WWE. Not the WWE. Just WWE. Oh. Not a, it's not a belt. It's a championship or the WWF championship. That title. makes sense, though. It's not a belt. It's a championship or a title. <sighs> why are you? Why are you like that over there? Because it's fucking wrestling, bro. It's not professional. Wrestling. It's Vince McMahon. Wrestling. No, it's sports entertainment. Yeah, if you want, if you want wrestling, you go to another. Why is it entertaining, Mel? It's funny though because uh, when Stone Cold had his podcast on the network and stuff, he would literally call it <laughs> wrestling, even when he had Vince McMahon on the show. He was like, Our "Old habits are hard to break." It's like I'm a wrestler, not a superstar. Well, I'm goddamn! A, I'm not. I'm not a sports entertainer. I'm a wrestler. Goddamn, pal. Yeah. Well. So, other than pretending to be a manager this week, supervisor, not a manager. Not what a, the fuck is the difference? I don't know. Exactly. Supervisor is like an assistant manager. 
Yeah. Or the assistant to the assistant manager. Just tell people you were managing. Yeah. It sounds I was, better. I was doing all that shit. I was doing all that shit. I was playing the Switch up. It's nice. Laying in bed, playing it, falling asleep. Playing it. You, you know how it is. I don't undock that often. Really? Yeah, I'm a docker, bro. Yeah, I dock it too, but... No, you don't stay undock. dock. You, I dock, you I stay dock. You are fucking nuts. There's something wrong with you. I bet if they looked at your genomes, they would find some kind of serial killer gene in there because it's quite there's possible. something wrong with you. There's some you shit don't I've, undock. There's some shit I've repressed, man. Do you, put, do you put one sock on at a time? Wait. Like, you put your sock on, and then you put your shoe on? Oh, fuck no. No, that's weird. Because that's right. sociopath stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But I do put the same sock on first all the time. Yes. Oh, uh, we found the sociopath. I'm with him there. I don't even... But I'm thinking if the floor was dirty, I wouldn't take anything off to begin with. I will sleep in socks and shoes. I did it when I went to band practice all the time as a kid. Because <laughs> Matt's basement was scary. I could see that. I could see you being like that. And cold. <laughs> oh, well, the cold thing, yeah, I wouldn't want to take my shoes scary off. Scary cold. and cold. What do you mean you could see me being like that? I could just see you being like that. Just a little bit of a germaphobe, a little bit of a, like, uh, I'm not really a germaphobe, though. Uh, you know what? I go to Walmart, and I grab the cart without even wiping it down, because I think it keeps me healthy. Do you think about it, though? Yeah, I think it keeps it? me healthy. Me. Healthy. You're all like, I'm not going to do it this time, because it's keeping me healthy. I chuckle at the people that do it. Did you get all your vaccination shots? As a child. Okay. I haven't been to a doctor in, like, you know, a long time. Would you get shots in your belly if you had to? Rabies? I don't fucking Isn't know. Isn't that like the only thing they shoot you in your belly for? And whatever kind of shots you got to get for being a filthy animal like you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I got to, I got to, sure. Sorry, Rob. That was mean. I'm, I'm not mean. afraid. I'm to be better. I'm not afraid of needles. Trying to be better. I know you're sensitive, so I don't want to. Look at me. I got tattoos and shit. I'm not afraid of needles. You gonna get another tattoo? I need new tattoos, and I got a job now. So. I'm gonna go get a tattoo. Yeah, from your boy. I'm gonna go get another one. I'm he gonna might, get one of the little characters. He from might Earth be Bound. the guy. He might be the guy to do my th the thing I've been talking about. I'm gonna go get it. I'm, I'm gonna get it, it on my nipple. Not really. I don't want it. You should make your nipple a Metroid. No, fuck off. I yes. don't even like Metroid like that. Still, it would be perfect Metroid. You go get your nipple as a Beep. Metroid. Let me see your Boop. nipple and let's Beep. decide. Boop. What your nipple is going to uh -oh. be tattooed Rob like. Pop Beep. Pops. Boop. Beep. All right. This is a scientific discussion. I got Steve. Nipple. See? He got a nipple. What do you think it should be tattooed as? <laughs> Steve's. <laughs> I want to say, like, the moon or a dark piece of cheese. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the dark side of the I'm too moon. white for that. Uh, I got an ICP shirt on, too, by the way. Oh, you could maybe get a uh, <laughs> pie. You could get, like, a pie as your nipple tattoo. What about Pac-Man? Yeah, you could get Pac-Man. You could have Pac-Man. And, like, and the, the nipple could be a little pellet. Yeah, you could do that. I was going to say, you could have Pac-Man and then one of the ghosts. What if you just get a lot of little balls circled around your ta or around in your areola? <laughs> just tiny ones, and it looks like just like a, a gumball machine or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do that? Look at him. Oh, you should do that. A gumball machine. <laughs> right. I think that's what needs to be. <laughs> there would only be one red gumball, if you know what I mean. <laughs> there needs to be a gumball machine at uh, Mel's belly button. Like, that's where the gumball comes out. No, the, I don't want that on my belly. We're going to get Fry. Passed out with a pizza pizza in his hand. It's no, growing now. You should get uh, that picture you have on your phone of Fry inside the LaCroix box. Inside the LaCroix box? <sighs> I want to get a tattoo of LaCroix on me, though. These are a few of Mel's favorite foods. If I could just have LaCroix delivered and fry treats. LaCroix on tap? Yeah, and fry treats. A water fountain that just disputes LaCroix. If I could get Fry a crown, 
and he would prance around with it, I would probably really enjoy that. You know, a little regal robe and the throat the scepter. <laughs> He's back on the scepters, just like He's last totally week. Back on the scepters. He's always wants to donk someone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think you have a a problem. What? Of a. It would be fun. But listen, I learned, and I wouldn't be going out and picking up all the field mice and bopping them on the head. Okay, Bernie Foo Foo. Okay. It's that, that, that song's probably got some bad connotation to it that we don't know about, right? <laughs> Steven I mean, it's violent. Patrick. What? It's violent. Yeah, it was pretty violent. <laughs> what song are um, we talking about? Hold up. The little bunny foo foo. Let's try this again. You remember that? No, don't even. Don't what talk into your phone. What is little bunny foo foo about? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Remember the Velveteen Rabbit? What's the Velveteen Rabbit? It's that movie about the Christianities. What? Wasn't that Watership Down? Um, oh, yeah. That's weird. You loved that movie, didn't you? The first one. Or the one like back in the day, not the new one. Oh, okay. Okay. The one that Netflix re-released. Are you going to go to WrestleMania next year when it's in Tampa? At Raymond James Stadium? Stadium? I'm, st- I'm sitting on the pirate ship. If I'm on the floor. You're going to get floor seats. I'm going to get floor seats. Because I'm not going to pay for <laughs> any kind of like lodging. Because why would I? I'll just drive across the bridge. <laughs> right? Right, no. Yeah. Uh, anyway. And I don't have um, to pay for gas. Little Bunny Foo Foo. I didn't see anything. Okay. But We're it's weird, clear. though. It's about like uh, giving people chances or something. I don't know. Give them a second chance. Third chance. Fourth chance, even. Then you get turned into a... Yeah, what do you get turned into? I don't I know. The full see. lyrics didn't go that far. See you. Run into the field, mice. Yeah. I'm bopping them on the head. You still playing Far Cry New Dawn? And four and five. You're still on it, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. You got that stick to it liveness, kid. Yeah, I'm stuck on four though. I'm gonna I'm in a spot that I'm like I'm having trouble with. Are you gonna get Spider Man? If it's when it goes on sale. Yeah, when that goes on sale I might pick that up. I've just been playing Switch, so I'm not getting any of that. I'm not gonna get it. Then I'm going to turn you into a goon. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's a goon? What's it mean, though? I don't even know if there was any... What other wrestling news was there? Oh, the there Good Brother's plenty. not going to sign their new contracts. Yeah, saw that. Rob liked that. I saw he liked it on Twitter. There was that... Uh, well, I mean, why should they? There was that Ronda Rousey shoot that she did for YouTube. Oh, yeah? Fuck her. R.I.P. King Kong Bundy. Yeah. Or as Enzo Amore thought, George, George the Animal Steel. Steel. Fucking moron. Tori Wilson Hall of Fame. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Why wouldn't, you know? She was in WCW, too. She put her dues in. Sabu got kicked off of Twitter for hate speech. Doesn't surprise, surprise me. Surprise, surprise, yeah. Uh, did we talk about the Arn Anderson thing already? Yeah. Oh, we did in group chat. Yeah, but I don't think we did, like... I don't think we brought it on last week. Steve, Steve broke this news that Double A got fired for letting Alicia Fox... Wrestle intoxicated. Wrestle intoxicated. <laughs> well, sometimes you just got to. I know if I was there, I'd have to sometimes. You got to loosen up. You know what I mean? Your boy Chiampa broke his freaking neck, like Stone Cold style. Yeah, he's out for a few months. A few months for yeah, a minute. Which means no WrestleMania for him. No, which no takeover. Means, which means he has to relinquish the belt. Yeah. So what are they gonna do now? Put it on Dream. So who's gonna be? Um Generico's uh, or Gargano's Gargano's uh, tag team partner now that he's on the main roster he's not going to go up to the main roster he just got demoted that, that was just a one time well it was going to happen if Ciampa was still up there but 
And they said their goodbyes already. Reportedly, uh... He hasn't said his goodbyes. An injured wrestler debuted at a house show this weekend. Luke Harper? I'm thinking, uh... It was Luke Harper. Same as Zane. Do you have confirmation? It It was was Luke Harper. Harper. (laughs) Uh, Still could be Sami Zayn. I think Sami Zayn will come up, uh, maybe, Mania or after. I think he'll go blue or red. (laughs) Who knows? (laughs) Who the frick knows, Steven? He'll come back as uh, Owen's best friend again. Enemy. His friend of me? Enemy. He'll be a heel, and Owens will be the face. Oh, that's a unique dynamic. Uh-huh. I like it. Uh, Vince McMahon's net worth went from $1.7 billion to $3.2 billion. That's pretty good. He did well for himself there. That XFL move. And because, because he made over 500000 he paid the highest tax bracket. Yeah, which is good. Glad he's uh, <laughs> doing that. That's good. So, you know. <laughs> Hope he does pay his taxes. Probably not. <laughs> uh, Juicin' Thunder Lager. Retiring. Finally retiring in 2020. Well, no, and Yeah, next year. At January next, 2020. Yeah, January 4th show. Tokyo Dome. That's where he started. Does he get to main event it? No. You don't give him that respect? No. He, he'll have a match there, but he doesn't main event. Just out of respect? No. 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 Because no, the main event is the heavyweight championship. Main event's for the new people. It's always been that way, my man. Okay. Okay. Right? That's who... Yeah. No, it's going to be for the heavyweight. Yeah. Is he wrestling for the heavyweight in his last show? I don't know. He's not there yet. <laughs> Bro. Oh, you disappoint me. Is he in the G1? No. Mm-mm. Nope. Look at Steve talking like he knows something. Yeah. Well, he pays attention. You don't. Whoa. You're right. Raw? 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 Like, there's a pay-per-view this weekend. I forgot. And we had two go-home shows. But we're kind of forgetful. Oh, my God. Roman wants to get the band back together. He's going to do it, too. They did it. Roman's pulling a whole uh, click thing. Well, it's the last time before Ambrose leaves. And they brought that up, too, which was... He's on the greener pastures. Hopefully. Do you think? Or is Why do you a... watch it so much if you're always constantly disappointed by it? Fuck you, bro. That's what I want to know. Po- we'd, only, we'd have a shorter podcast. Because it's entertaining. I just like being fickle. It's my thing. <sighs> Little bitch. Little bitch like Lilo Rush that got ran the fuck over by Braun Strowman. Fuck yes. That looked crazy and painful. Braun Strowman, the comedy act now? Yeah, poor bastard. There's like so many people that like almost had all this great potential that just... Well, can't they still have the potential? Yeah, if they were like booked right. Do you Not think, everybody uh, could be the star. Do you think Strowman's kind of like a Ryback? Ooh. Damn, Steve going there. Ouch. Hey, I'm putting a question. I'm not saying he is. He's not injuring asking, people. Do you think he's comparable to Ryback? No. Nah. To where he's he has bo- more like, charisma. Where he botches and stuff. He forgets lines. Yep. He does do that. He's not a... Uh, he gets better promos than Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Who went heel on Raw. Totally heel. And what? how do you feel about this whole... Let's just beat... Becky down until WrestleMania every fucking week. It's gonna it's gonna build her back up, right? <laughs> you think? So you don't or, think it would have been better just to have like badass Becky go in there against badass Ronda? You can still have that though. Not with Charlotte. Like the week before WrestleMania, kill Charlotte. <laughs> well, I mean, unless uh, Lynch puts Charlotte on the on the table at uh, Fastlane tonight. Yeah, and puts get, her on the table. And takes injures her, her. And takes her out of a wrestling Takes it out of the picture. Like injures her? Gone. Injures her? Injured. What would you do then? then Squeal the, like a little girl. Then you go back <laughs> Then you go back to your original WrestleMania, Lynch versus Rossi. How would you feel then? I'd be out with it. 
You would be all right with it? I'd be all right with it. Hmm. I don't like it. No, I didn't like this week's SmackDown. Why? It was pretty boring. What are you, Ken Kennedy over there? Yep. Can you still hear me all right? Yeah. All right, then. Don't question it, bitch. If my motives are different than your... I mean, you're a little floaty, but, you know. You're floaty. It's flaky. You're flaky. Samoa Joe is our new U.S. champion. I like that. I did like that. That was my highlight of SmackDown. Yeah. He beat uh, R-Truth. Um, Mysterio. Ray Mysterio and, and Andrade. Cian Almas. Yeah. Four it's Andrade. Days. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. It is just Andrade now. Androgynous. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa Ali came back to save Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens. So weird. It's a weird. It's so weird. It's a weird thing that got going on there. And then we had a little bit of hype for Becky versus Charlotte for tonight at Fastlane. Tonight at Fastlane. Tonight at Fastlane. In seven hours. It is only one thirty. Uh, Fastlane. I mean, looking at it, just looking over it, it doesn't look like it's going to be that bad. Hopefully, it's going to be a good show. Got a good card. Yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm gonna take a little nap. I'm gonna wake up. What uh, what are you guys excited for? Did you hear that Xavier Woods found out that he had a match on it on Twitter? On Twitter, yeah, yeah. Kickoff show. So, is it really a match on? No, my man. Uh, they don't count. I'm and gonna say Rey Mysterio versus Andrade on the kickoff show. It's the build up for a WrestleMania <laughs> match. Okay, homie. Okay. Okay. Mm. Tell him okay. Okay, Rob. All right there. Rob. Rob. Huh. Yeah, it was a pretty uneventful week for the build up to. For wrestling? For a pay per view, but I think this pay per view is just a build up to WrestleMania. It's speak for itself. It's just a filler episode. Are we going to have any title changes or anything? What titles are on? Because you got Tamina. The we got, you got that? tag team. You That's got not going to change team. hands there. SmackDown tag team. You have the World Heavyweight. Uh, oh yeah, the Raw tag team is Aleister Black. I think that's the one that may have a chance of changing. That it. Ricochet and Black are going to get it. Yeah. Wow. Versus. Um, Do you have Samoa Joe with an open? I don't see the room. I don't see any room on this card for that. I just don't Who's Finn Balor facing for the Intercontinental? Not on here. Not on there. Yep. No. Oh. That's a work. Are they going to save that for uh, Mania? For Mania, like they did at 31? A multi man ladder? <sighs> you do need a ladder match at Mania now, apparently. What about the Mania we go to? Are you going to predict <laughs> some matches for that? A year and two months out. Bum, bum, bum. It's uh, no. a year and a month. I'm I'm just predicting that there's a pirate ship at uh, Raymond James and Kyrie, Kyrie Sane is a pirate. Yes. Oh, if they can only bring back the uh, let her do the line. elbow drop off of that. If they can only bring back the zip line, she could zip line from the pirate ship. I'm hey. ready. Not since Kevin Owens, they won't bring it back. I mean, Fox does want a more edgy product. Bitchhead Steve. That's what they said. Said Fox said SmackDown's getting a little edgier to get out of the PC era. Yep. Or we'll uh, cancel our uh, contract with you. PG or PC? PC. I don't think they've ever been PC, Stephen. Well, that's what Fox said. Stop being so PC. Bro. Did they turn their hat backwards when they said it? Oh, well, they meant business then. They even brought out the uh, the female anal- female analysts what? to uh, give the. I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't like where it's going. I think when they go to Fox, they're gonna bring out uh, Kennedy from uh, MTV. Who's on Fox News now? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm just getting ready for the apocalypse. Yes, for his nap. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that oh, nap sounds good. You're praying before your nap. Yep. His food coma nap. Yeah, you're lucky it hasn't you right happened there. yet. I am... <sighs> All right. Well, on that note, go get your Zs. I'm going to get mine. 
and we'll see you in a week. Little Alpines. Alpines. This has been a TRGPM production.